<laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a very rainy Florida. Guys, it is pouring rain right now. This morning we woke up and we we're like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to do our little walk, you know. We got halfway, it started pouring. We're now like totally taking shelter underneath a tree. There's like water spots on the camera. I Finn saw, is like hiding underneath I know, a bush. Finn's right here, you guys. I saw <laughs> the rain cloud coming in. I was like, oh, I don't know if we can make it. And sure enough, we did not. But man, what better way to start your day than a little rain? Oh, uh, that is hilarious. That is. <laughs> so funny i don't know we're gonna it do is, it yet though. it's super pretty and like i don't know how we're gonna get back it is pouring rain right now <laughs> there is a like another half mile we got to do i'm just glad i didn't wash my hair before this or shower my gosh i think we're gonna make a mad dash should we run for it i, I don't think even we know we gotta get home though we just got back finn is just completely <laughs> drenched so dirty he's so <laughs> muddy oh my gosh like literally drenched so <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go get a bath oh a bath tyson's gotten a lot better at baths he still doesn't I love them, but we feel going to try and jump out all the time now. Look at his little toe. He is covered in dirt. Okay, should we get you off scene and then we'll brush you? Anyone else's dog get the zoomies after a bath? He tries to get the water, I think, out of his ears. I try my best not to get water in his ears because I know that can cause ear infections, especially in, with dogs with long ears like him. But this is what he always does after a bath. And then he loves to wrestle with the towel with me. Ha, huh, get it. <laughs> I think it's a good way for him to dry off though because he's constantly like shaking his head and his ears. So I feel like it gets the water kind of out even better. You guys, I just went to go clean up in the bathroom for a second. I came out and look where little Finn is sitting. He's on. <laughs> I have two minky blankets in here so it like sticks up a ton and he's just chilling right here. Oh, buddy, you did so good. Are you all clean now? His favorite thing is to be brushed. Watch when I even say the word. Finn, do you want to be brushed? <gasps> Should we get your brush? Let's go get it. He's so excited. He knows exactly where it is. Watch how cute. I literally give it to him and he'll run over, take it to the couch because he knows that's where I brush him. <laughs> Good job, dude. Check him out. He is just in seventh heaven right now. I'm brushing his little tummy and he just keeps looking at me with like the sweetest puppy dog eyes. <laughs> he would stay like this all day if I let him. He's seriously the cuddliest little bug. He Look at this, he just loves it. It's so funny to me how much he loves to be brushed. Okay, you guys, it's been a little while since we last video. The day has kind of just gotten away from us. Jared, he's back here has been working like crazy, editing, getting some things done. As many of you guys know, we have some big things coming up tomorrow, actually, which we are so excited about. We have three huge surprises for you, and we've been dropping hints here and there in our past videos, so go back and watch them, see if you can guess what the surprise is. Maybe we should do like a little gift or something, you know, a little JB swag. That'd be kind of cool if you can yeah. guess it right. One other hint is I've been getting our guest room ready. There's a small little hint for you as Ooh. well. But I have also been on the phone so much today with doctor's offices. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I just need to sit down for this one. But as many of you guys know, you have been following our infertility journey, trying to get a sweet little baby here. Yeah, it's been... And it has been crazy. It's like, been way crazy. Like, absolutely nuts for us. It just... I've been listening to this podcast. I actually talked about this over on Instagram this week. It's called Fearless Infertility, and the host has gone through years of infertility. You hear so many different stories, and it's just been really helpful. It's very insightful, for especially if you feel like you're going through all this by yourself for the first time. It's like, yeah. okay, this is like actually pretty common what I'm feeling. You just don't know what to expect. Yeah. Like speaking of, the last time we updated you, we said we were going to see a specialist. Which we were so stoked about because it's so hard to see this guy. We're so excited. We did a ton of research. Mm -hmm. This guy is the best here in South Florida. Which if anyone knows, South Florida, the healthcare out here isn't the greatest. It's honestly not yeah. the greatest that we've found so far. If yes. you happen to be in South Florida and know of awesome facilities and Let everything like that, know. that has been a big struggle for us yeah. out here. So. Anyways, you guys, long story short, it, we waited almost a month for the appointment. Recently this year, we changed insurance, and this office was supposed to take this insurance, but the lady called me like two days before our appointment, said they were having issues, and they wouldn't even cover this first doctor's appointment. Which was gonna cost us several hundred dollars. Oh, like, you guys, it was gonna be almost $800 just for yeah. the initial first visit. Like, so 
this whole thing with our insurance and everything, and now granted, we can't really change it until like November because that's when insurance season opens back yeah. up. But we are looking at many different insurance companies now just because this whole thing with the current one we have, it's been a nightmare. It, it hasn't been awesome. So we are figuring all that out, you guys. But needless to say, we are back on the schedule. It's gonna be a while before we get to go. We're just gonna pay out of pocket because the truth is a ton of insurances don't cover infertility, which kind of blows my mind. It's yeah, really it's sad. Yeah, it's my mind too, but as we're listening to this podcast, they said it's like pretty common to not have that be covered. Oh, it's really yeah. common. So you guys, we're just figuring all that piece out. But needless to say, if you're going through infertility, they talk about how in the podcast, not only is it physically draining on both of us, yeah. like I'm having all these hormones pumped through me, which they've talked about that before, <laughs> you guys. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. It's very like mentally exhausting, emotionally exhausting, both for her and for me. Yes, it's just, it affects everything. And now financially exhausting too. And we're yeah. not even to like, if we need to go down the IVF route or IUI, like those are like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. Definitely know we want to see a fertility specialist for sure, whether we have to pay out of pocket or not, but it's just kind of a whole mess right now. So I've been on the phone all day trying to figure out different things. Also, we've been looking at other doctors, especially doctors back in Utah, because let's just be frank, doctors out in Utah are really, really good with infertility. Yeah, for whatever reason, yeah. I think there's just so many younger families out there yeah. and everything. So we are looking into possibly going back to Utah, seeing a specialist there. That's kind of the gist of it. So many of you guys have been sweet to ask any updates and you always follow it up by no pressure to share, but you guys know, want to share in our infertility journey with you because we know so many people go through it and it should be shared because it's so common. So we will keep you updated on that. If you guys have any tips or suggestions on insurance stuff, we have heard there's something kind of like a health savings account, but for fertility, you could like contribute to it every month and then supposedly they'll match it. So we're looking into stuff like that as well. But yeah, any helpful advice along those lines would be so much appreciated. All right, boys and girls, we are out and about right now. Driving around. We gotta run some errands. I know. We also just filmed a, a really new, funny TikTok. A new TikTok <laughs> and real, you guys. I think you're gonna laugh so hard. It's about when your wife drives instead of you. And yes. It's gonna be pretty funny. I think Jared did a very good job. I think all you husbands out there, you can definitely relate. Even if you're not a husband and boyfriend, you know? <laughs> just a guy in general, a brother and sister, you will relate. <laughs> he does most of the driving too. I do honest. do most of the he driving. He does. I drive every now and then, especially if he needs to edit or things like that, especially on long trips, I will take a turn driving. I would sure. say one out of 100 of the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I drive more than that. But yes, he does drive the majority of the time. So. But we filmed a really funny one. I would say it's very relatable. We have a ton of fun filming these things is because they're all relatable they're all funny oh and it has gosh. a lot to do with couples humor which a lot of you guys can relate with yes I feel like everyone can yeah. and I feel like especially with our whole infertility yeah thing, you guys like humor has been something that we just rely on like, yeah boost your self-esteem it's nice yes it just takes your mind off of everything mm. else so having these platforms where you can just joke around <laughs> be funny feel we more like, like our normal selves yeah, it's really, really, like. really helped us picked up some stuff and we're getting a little bit hungry and we just got a notification from our apartment complex that there's a food truck out front baby I every know. now and then they have different food trucks and this one's wings so it's we're gonna go so check fun. it out All right, this place is packed. There's a mad amount of people just waiting around to get their food. In addition to that, there are more cars around here just waiting. Brittany didn't want wings, but she just rolled down the window and she's eating the adult Lunchable and she's got Little House on the Prairie going. How are you liking it, baby? <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit. Hopefully they finish it up soon. All right, all right, just got them, baby. Look at that bucket of power. That is gonna be delicious. It even says it right on there, hot and delicious. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, the lolly. Now that looks good. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Ooh, just gotta show you guys the sunset. Look at the pinks right there reflecting. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty with the blues and purples. I was just eating though, and I had to show you guys this before it went away. My goodness, it's so beautiful. And the verdict on the wings I had, they were okay, you guys. They didn't actually pan out the way that I had wanted. Luckily, Brittany was here, she saved the day. 
She made me some of that more of that watermelon salad. Oh. It's probably better for me anyway. You know, he's making fun of my adult lunchables, <laughs> but I think and he probably wish he yeah, would have had one. I wish I would have had some. The funny thing is I got an eight piece wing thinking I was gonna devour the whole thing with the fries. I had about four wings in. I was just like, you know what? I don't even enjoy this. So I just threw the rest of the way. Yeah, they were a little overdone. He said yeah. the fries are all mushy, so mm. not a great dinner tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, you guys, I think we're gonna be doing our Costco haul because we got to get some stuff and I, we're kind of cleaned out right now. Our Costco haul has something <laughs> to do with the surprises that are coming Ooh. Up. Another little hint for you guys. I know. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your love, your support, especially as we share our oh, yeah. disability journey and everything. We just know you guys give the best advice. You're such a great support system for us and we're all in this together because I know a ton of you guys yeah. are experiencing the same thing. That is true. We absolutely love reading your guys' comments. You guys some of you guys actually email us as well. Yeah, it's the and it's just been, thing. Oh it's it is so nice to read your guys' stories that way we know like we're not in this alone. I Just know. like listening to that podcast, it helps so much. And hopefully maybe we're helping by yeah. our experience somehow. You know. Anyways, you guys, we love you. Thanks for spending time with us today. We're gonna close out today's video, finish <laughs> our little walk with Finn, and we'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.